we have JP Morgan, right? JP Morgan is uh, trolling along, right? Trolling along with the uh, uh, expansions of their small branches. So I find it interesting that they expand. On the economic front, we have to be careful of the CPI next week, guys. See, uh, so there's a lot of Feds speak today, but most importantly, you have the uh, initial claim tomorrow, CPI revision on Friday, but then next week you have everything about inflation. You have core CPI next week on the 13th. On the 15th, you have U.S. retails. Uh, on the Friday, you have again the core CPI and the housing stuff. So there's a lot of report next week. So be, be prepared that maybe we go sideways to up this week and next week, towards the end of the week, we might have a little bit of more volatility. You see this morning, coming into this morning, the VIX is low. I need to get a Zoom prepared here so we can get a pen. But nah, I suppose I could use the brush from, um, see it, so you go here, the VIX is low. Each time we're going to get towards VIX 1250, uh, we are going towards the downside. What do you have? Look here. You have a down move on the dollar. So more complacency coming into the market here. You have the Russell going up. You have the uh, um, uh, futures ES going up. You have pre-market 95.75 going up also on the SPY. And you see that one of the calculator here flashes uh, roughly 513. So it is possible before they speed it for a decent retracement that they keep on pushing this thing to 513. And that's very, very profound. And by the way, your likes, comments are appreciated on the feed so that other people on the feed can see and join us every week. Yeah, we are going to do more and more. Then we do the cuts, which means that you guys get the primal before everybody. So again, we are coming into an environment this morning where what? You have potentially the bonds going to test also the top of the range here. See that the top of the range. So if bonds goes up here, here, yeah, that means rate goes down. But in eventually, I think the rates are going to test that trend line here, this uh, 1010.06. And that's going to be an inverse head and shoulder that I showed you for weeks into uh, the previous feed. So I gave you Palantir last week, guys, on the Day Trading Zones channels. It's part of the cuts that we do here. Uh, if we can, you came a little late, I still have $2,300 on the Palantir trades. So it's not just telling you about the trades, but it's making money on the trade. And that's very rare because a lot of people, they talk about their indicators, their unique indicators, their unique processes, and you see shit. They don't trade. They don't put their money where their mouth is. It's uh, it's kind of sad and pathetic that this happens. You know, uh, if you are going to have indicators, if you are going to talk to the public, you got to come with a certain uh, 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 angle of value. And the value to me in this business is black and white. Can you call the shots before the fact? Do you make money? Do you lose money? Do you trade for real? That's it. At least do you make the effort to trade and invest for real? That's it. Because so many people do not in trade. So yeah, I did the Palantir. See if you go to the uh, if you go to the day trading on YouTube channel from uh, last week. A lot of people they, they, they don't do it. And by the way, a lot of those will be cut from our Wednesday event. So you being here on Wednesday, you get the live event. So you don't miss anything. You are the first one to get it, right? And then, and then you get the cuts. So see like that Google cut, the Microsoft cut, those are cut. Usually either we do it the weekend, I do it the weekends, or I do it from those Wednesday events. So you coming on Wednesday, like today, we are going to review cryptos and stocks. We are going to, I have a list of about 10 to 12 to review today, right? And see, see if you can look at all those videos on the uh, Day Trading Zones channel, 
you can see the Palantir trade, the Palantir uh, analysis seven days ago, right there. It's here, Palantir, boom. And, um, and you would have had that trade because I was telling you that people, it's a time to accumulate more Palantir and more Palantir and more Palantir. And the proof is in the polling, as I tell you, and I have the trade right there with $2,000. 300 open on Palantir, okay? Which, by the way, was the biggest gainer of all the stock market yesterday with a 30% after earnings. Palantir is playing into the uh, theme of AI, uh, data mining, data science, government contract. I love that because it's not predicated to the consumer. Consumer is going to go up and the consumer is going to be tapping out, right? 